This lighting is weird. Anyway, no necklace. Whatever. I can't speak. Ugh. Bullshit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video. I have my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. I have three bags next to me. It may not seem like a lot, but it was quite expensive. So uh, to me, it was a lot. It was a lot of money. Aside from the fact that things are pretty pricey, I think I got a good deal on a lot of the things. I think I would have spent hundreds of dollars more than I did. So I got a nice array of things. I got some fall clothes, some shoes, some beauty products, some home goods, just everything that I could get my hands on or that I have wanted for a cheaper price. So if you guys would like to see what I picked up, just keep on watching. Also, side note, I wanted to say I'm sorry for the lighting. I know it's kind of weird and super bright. I'm using natural lighting and the sun is gonna go down soon. So I've gotta like make this choppy. So I apologize. So this is bag number one. I'll start with this one because most of this is clothes. So this is the first thing I got. This is just a turtleneck thick chunky sweater from Free People. So originally this was $128. I got it for $79.90. I love Free People and I think if my mom's watching this, I hope not because I could be calling her out on what I think one of my birthday gifts might be. I think I might be going to New York in November. I don't know. That's just hopeful thinking or wishful thinking, whatever you call it. If we do, I will be taking almost all of these pieces with me. If not, then I'll just wear them when it gets colder here in Florida. But this was super cute. It's pretty long. So I got mine in a size medium and it's pretty big. Free people tends to do that. I feel like their sizes are really off. I have things in a size small, medium, large, extra large, literally everything from that brand in different sizes. So this kind of hits like in the middle of my thigh. It's pretty short. So I thought I could wear some compression shorts with it and maybe some boots and make it like a little sweater dress. So I think this will be really cute in the fall months. The next piece I got was this. It looks a little funky, all buttoned up, but I thought I could wear this unbuttoned, maybe with that underneath of it and the turtleneck going over the collar, or I could just wear it with some light wash jeans and a white shirt and some boots. This was by, what is the brand? The brand is BP, I think. It was originally 59, I got it for 38.90. So it's a very thick flannel sweater type thing, flannel jacket, and it's very cozy. And as you can see, it's got some pink detail through it. I cannot wait to wear this. I think it's gonna be so girly and fun, maybe with like a little beanie, just something cute. The next item I got was this flannel jacket. This is probably my favorite because it has orange. I don't know. I think this is my favorite. I love orange, burnt orange. It's my favorite color. And I had a whole vision to wear this with boots, some black ripped jeans and a burnt, I can't speak and a burnt orange shirt to a pumpkin patch and it has buttons that you just pull you don't have to actually undo the buttons so this i think let me see this was originally 98 i'm almost positive i got it for 59 i don't know the anniversary sale ticket was taken off this is by the brand blank nyc and it is in the lumberjack style i will try and link down the items below i know that this was sold out online but i did find it in my nordstrom store i also wanted to mention that most of these things are actually all of it i bought in store i wanted to go in and actually shop i didn't buy any of this online so you will be able to see a lot of these pieces that I picked up on my Instagram. I am sure I will post them. I love this. So the next two pieces I got were just these basic t-shirts. I got one in white and I got one in this burnt orange color that I thought could go with that flannel. So these are by the brand Caslon. Caslon. I don't know how you pronounce it. I apologize. These were originally $19. I got them for $12.90. This is in the shade Rust Spice. I know it's just a basic t-shirt, but it was so flattering on and it made my figure look so good. So just for some staple pieces, I think these are good choices. Here's the white one and the shade name is just white. Okay, I am so excited for this. It is the smallest thing that I got out of everything, but I've always wanted one of these. So it's this necklace. It just has an A for my name. So it's just this initial necklace. I've always wanted one and this one looks really nice and very high quality. So this was originally $50 and I got it for $24.90. So I have two sisters and they both have A's for the first letter of their name as well, but there were only two in store. So I picked up two actually, but I gave one of my sisters already so that they can share it. Actually, I kind of want to take this out of the packaging and put it on. So here it is out of the packaging. My sister already wore hers and it looked really pretty on. My cat is playing with the other bag. 
Okay, so here's the necklace. My vision with this is that I would probably layer it with other gold necklaces. With this shirt, I don't know if it's necessarily the cutest thing. I think it looks a little better with it on, but I love this. And they were pretty much buy one, get one free if they were $50, and I spent $50 on two, so... Moving on to the second bag. And guys, yes, this is going to be a pretty small haul. I just wanted to show you guys what I got and get content out for you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. So the one beauty related item I got were these makeup erasers. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it comes with 10. Does it even say? No. So I already gave my sister one of these. She wanted one of them so bad. I already showed her everything and gave her a mini haul before I filmed. So you get this many for $35. Let's go ahead and open it up. You get the travel case as well, which I thought was actually pretty cute. And I could take the insert out and use it for jewelry when I travel. So they had this and they had a blue one that was like a starry night theme. And I thought that one was cute, but like it's pink and I wanted pink, of course. So you get the purple, you get the dark pink, and you get this tie-dye one. And you get multiple, so you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the tenth one I gave my sister. So yes, you get ten for thirty-five dollars. They are the smaller ones, and you just put your hand back here, use it to take off your makeup. I have never used these, but I've always wanted to, and I was like thirty-five dollars for ten of them, whereas I'm pretty sure it's one or two for twenty. I think it's a steal, and the smaller ones are cute. Oh look, it also oh that's so cool. It comes with a bag to wash them in the washer and they say they last three to five years. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this on my channel before. I don't like using makeup wipes anymore because I feel like they strip my skin. I've been using coconut oil, but if I could use this and just use water, that's probably the safest, cleanest, easiest thing for my skin. So I do wanna try that out and see how that works. So yes, like I said, you can take this insert out and it's clear so you can just pack all your jewelry or your makeup in this. So you're really paying for the case and the makeup erasers and I think it's a great deal and I just dropped one. So the second to last thing I got, guys, I got a Barefoot Dreams blanket. I cannot believe that I spent the money on this thing, but I've always wanted one so I figured the best time to get one is during the sale. I just got the cream. This one is not the white. This is, yeah, it's called Cream. It's a 54 by 72 inch blanket. Guys, it is so cozy. I probably shouldn't lay on it because I don't want my makeup to get on it. But I cannot wait to sleep with this. It's been sitting in this bag and I just wanted it every single night. But I can't get it because I got to show you guys first. YouTube comes first. So this was originally $147. I bought it for $97.90. $100 for a blanket is definitely extreme, but I've heard really good reviews on these blankets and I've heard that they're very good quality and that they hold up. I also wanted the cheetah print one. Maybe that'll be next sale, but I figured let's just get the basic cream one first. And I just hope that these last me a while. It's like hugging a cloud. Like invest in a barefoot dreams blanket if you're going to invest in one i would recommend doing it during the sale castaways we are castaways okay guys so the last thing that i have and yes like i said before it is a pretty small haul but i wanted to show you guys everything i have a pair of boots i invested in some vince camuto boots <sighs> look at this such a big box so these are the ophelia in the color tortilla couldn't they come up with a better name god i don't know if it's tortilla or verona you can see it says it over here you probably cannot see but i got mine in a size nine and a half are you guys ready to see these boots like i said they were originally 240 dollars. i got them for 149 that's almost 100 dollars off so again if i was gonna buy a pair of boots it was gonna be now at the nordstrom sale hall so before i show you them another reason that i spent that kind of money is because everything that i got all the clothes i was able to match them to every single piece so it's ready so here are the boots i think they are so pretty they're like this pretty cream color and they could go with anything tortilla color I guess you'd say they are a square toe which i love i love square toe and they've got like this wooden heel and they're very comfortable when i put them on they kind of remind me of like cowgirl boots but this with the burnt orange shirt black ripped jeans that burnt orange flannel and oh god pumpkin patch all the way and i think it would be so freaking cute holding my little pumpkin being a basic white hoe on instagram so these were what I spent, I think the most money on. Yes, I spent the most money on these. They're definitely an investment and they were a good option. My big sister has a Vince Camuto pair of boots and she says she loves them. So 
I needed to invest in something cute. The ones I originally wanted were like a leather, I think. They were reflective. They weren't like cloth or suede. These are suede, um, which in Florida might be kind of stupid, but I can get that suede spray and make sure no rain gets on them. They're not really gonna go anywhere with me that snows because they won't hold up, but these are really just a fashion statement. So like I was saying, I originally wanted the leather ones. They were kind of reflective. They weren't suede. They were super cute. They were the same color. And I went up to the lady, they weren't by Vince though. They were by Sam Edelman. And I went up to the lady and I was like, do you have these? And she said, no, we don't have them in the store, but we can order them. And I was like, mm, I don't like to order shoes because I get so nervous that they're not gonna fit my feet because my feet are so weird. I could wear an eight and a half, a nine, a nine and a half, depending on the brand. It has changed numerous amount of times. So I don't wanna do that and then get them and then have to go through a return because I'll be honest with you guys, I'm lazy. I do not wanna go and have to return them. And especially an online return is a pain in my ass. So no. So I actually got these in wide calf and I don't really have wide calves. So that was kind of weird, but I think also, I went after work and my feet and my legs were so swollen. I work on my feet and so they're swollen and these are what fit. I'm sure they'll be a little more loose when I put them on now, but that's fine. It'll be comfortable. I'll be able to fit jeans in them. So yeah, guys, this is the last thing that I purchased. So that guys concludes this video. That is everything that I purchased at the Nordstrom sale. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I am not sure if the sale is still going on, but if it is, I hope this video helped you to decide on what you wanna grab from it. So with that being said, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below for future video ideas. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.